Now we're gonna talk about how to connect it. How to connect it. First thing you wanna do is of course, you're gonna to have to install the Blink app. And we're back. Thank you for joining me for Blink Outdoor. Let's go back. <laughs> yes, for the Blink Outdoor uh, camera system. This is video number two. And I didn't want to keep it very long on the last time, so we put it into two sections. All right, so outdoor camera number two. Last time we talked about how to install this on the outside of the home and installing it on the inside of the home. Now we're going to talk about how to connect it how to connect it. First thing you want to do is, of course, you're going to have to install the Blink app. Have to install the Blink app. Now, once you install the app, it's going to uh, you put in your information, uh, where you are and so forth and so on. It's going to ask you to name the camera system. You can put your home address in if you like or just some name, maybe not your home address. I probably wouldn't do that. Just in, just in case of hacking or something like that, just call it anything, whatever you want to call it. All right, but you, you'll name your camera system. After you name your camera system, the very first thing you want to do is go to the module, the, the sync module, sync module. Now, on the back of the sync module, back of the sync module, it has a, it has a QR code. Now, once you, once you install the Blink app, you click the module there in the app and it's going to activate the camera on your phone to scan the QR code here. Once it scans it, then you go ahead, it's gonna start trying to connect. Then what you wanna do, you take your module here and you, of course, take the cable, unwrap that from these things there. Hold on, sorry. And attach the cable, the smaller end of the cable, right down here at the bottom of it, at the bottom of the unit. Make sure you're turning it the correct way. And I think I am, yes. All right, that goes there. And the other half of the unit will go, other half of the wire, go into your outlet, okay? So you have these two uh, that will then be connected. And this can go anywhere in the house. So here's one thing that I did not hear, that I did not understand, I wanna tell you about, is that this sync unit can sync multiple cameras. That is, when the, wherever the camera is in the home, outside the home, if you have one in the living one outside, one in the living room, and um, uh, let's say one at the front door, back door, whatever, this will sync them all, okay? These signals go back to here. And from here, connected to the Wi-Fi and it's out, uh, connected to your account and so forth and so on. So it's really not, it's important where you put this in the house. Remember, this is all connected through the Wi-Fi. So you, if you have a larger home, you may need a, a Wi-Fi extender, some sort of form of network extender so that all the cameras can connect to this. On the app, it shows you how much signal uh, it will show you the signal level, signal strength of each camera. So that's gonna be a big thing too, a factor of where you put the camera because if it's so far away it can't connect, then you, you don't want weak signal, you don't want spotty service. So it's gonna depend, you need to put this somewhere where it is central to the cameras, okay? That's really important because they will send signal back to here. Now, what you'll understand too, you see this port on the side, the USB port. This is for a USB flash drive if you wanna keep footage uh, for a long time. Or of course, you probably pay for a subscription if you want to, but easiest way, just get a drive and just pop that in there and you can keep your footage and you can take it out and watch it anytime you want to, it's yours, okay? So you got that in the house. All right, and you have two lights. You've got a blue and a green light there that will be blinking, letting you know that, hey, I'm ready. I'm trying to find signal. All right, so you got that. So the app will help you to install that. Once this is there, then start working with your other cameras, okay? Once you have this in place and it's connected, very important, then you go to the other cameras. So again, on the back, on the back of all the cameras, you're gonna have, once you pull the, once you pull 
Um, pull the cover off of it, you're gonna find your battery compartment in here, and you're gonna also find another QR code. All right, so you wanna take your phone, take the app, and scan the QR code, and then it's going to be listed on your account. Once it's listed on your account, you can tell it what room you want it in, or rather, you can name it. I want this front door, or living room, or basement, or what have you, you can name that particular camera. And then, of course, you can set the sensitivity for it and how long you want to record, all kind of good goodies in there in the app as far as that is concerned. All right, so I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. But I believe that would at least get you in the door with these. So if you haven't heard the first part of this, go back and do it. Um, but I believe it will give you some kind of picture as to how it works. All right, feel free to uh, ask me questions in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them. So thank you guys very much for viewing this and we'll see you on the next, next one. Bye.